Let's start with a triangle defined by points A, B, and C. Now I'll define three functions. Function 1 takes a point and returns another halfway towards A. Function 2 takes a point and returns another halfway towards B. And function 3 takes a point and returns another halfway towards C. Now I'll create three new points. D will be midway between A and B, E will be midway between B and C, and F will be midway between C and A. I will now force all three of these new points to generate three children, each of which will choose a specific function to follow that is different than its siblings. That is to say, exactly one child from each parent will move towards A, B, or C. I'll then force all of these new points to have three children again following the same rules. Those new kids will then again make kids that do the same thing, and those kids will do it again and again. Eventually the pattern becomes clear, showing a rather famous fractal, the Sierpinski Triangle. Essentially, there's a little mathematical magic hidden in this function system that attracts all points towards the shape of the Sierpinski Triangle. There's a large number of function systems we could try here to generate a huge number of different fractally shapes, but we'll focus on the triangle for this video. The most common method people use to generate fractals with function systems is with a concept known as a chaos game. For this process, we start with a random point in space and allow the point to randomly pick any of the three functions it wants. As long as it only moves according to the three prescribed functions, it will eventually wander onto the Sierpinski triangle, and once it lands on the triangle, it cannot leave. Now, if we ignore the first 20 points or so of the simulation and then run it for thousands of iterations, this random sampling method will eventually redraw the Sierpinski triangle like before. It's somewhat remarkable how roughly 10 lines of code can generate such an interesting set of shapes. There's a lot more information in the chapter on iterated function systems in the Arcane Algorithm Archive, which is currently awaiting language-specific implementations. In that chapter, there's a small teaser for another interesting topic, Restricted Chaos Games, which leads us down a huge rabbit hole, eventually ending up with Fractal Flames, which are downright amazing, but again, a topic for another time. Anyway, that's all for now. I'll be making a short update video soon to explain where I've been in the past... uh... year? For now, Twitch, Discord, and GitHub sponsor links are all in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.